Hey, Worship Leader, welcome back to the channel. I'm glad you're here. I got some exciting stuff today. I was watching a video the other day and I saw this thing, this item, and I was like, oh, that solves so many problems and I have to get it immediately and share it with you guys. Here it is. The D-Dario, D-Dario, however you say that, expand pedal board. Let me tell you why this is awesome. You guys have seen my pedal board. I run an HX Stomp mini board. It's also MIDI controlled. I love this thing. It fits perfectly on this Mono Light Plus, I believe it's called. But one thing that I don't like about this board is the fact that there's just enough room for everything to fit perfectly, except the, these MIDI cables hang off the end. And I'm like, you know, it's fine. They're pretty durable. I don't think anything's gonna get like messed up or anything, but if I just had just a little bit more room, uh, this would be perfect. In comes what I think could be a major solution, probably for a lot of y'all too, who are making these mini boards centered around the HX Stomp or any of the other smaller modelers trying to get an all-in-one pedal board. Uh, this, I think, could be the answer. So we're gonna open it up, do a little unboxing, and let's see if it's as good as I think as it might be. I said that weird. Let's see if it's as good as I think it might be. That's what I meant to say. All right, so here we are, expand pedal board. This has got all my stuff on it. Let's just, let's just open it. I think it needs some assembly, some assembly required, so we'll see. Need a knife. Oh, look at that. Assembly instructions. So apparently there's like these little clips that hold things together, you gotta screw it together, um, but then there's this little lever that locks it at whatever length you want it. it. Looks like it comes with Velcro. I think this might be a pre-Velcroed board. I think I saw that in the other video, so yeah. There it is, Velcro. And this is the pedal board, I guess. It's just a couple little tubes and we're going to build it and put it together. How cool is this? X key here. Another cool thing is they got this like fastened with more Velcro, which is kind of cool. Oh, okay, breaking stuff. Oh wow, that looks good. I was wondering if it was going to look cheesy, but that is a nice solid looking piece of metal right there. It's even um, countersunk, which is awesome. That way the screw heads are gonna go in there nicely. Um, rubber feet attached. Wow, that's cool. Got another one, this is the other side, and then this is the smaller side, I guess, that will telescope in and out somehow. Oh, there they are. See, it's pre-Velcro. Pre so I don't know how I feel about that. I've been using, um, dual lock for a while now, but Velcro is good too. And it's Velcroed on both sides, so you could like put your um, power supply on the bottom, perhaps. Good branding there. There's the little release thing that I think is going to, you can slide it out, lock it back in place. Very cool. There's more pieces, I'm missing more pieces. But yeah, these little things. These little clips. I don't know, they kind of feel flimsy. I don't know what those are for. And these, I guess, are just screws. I see this little ratchet wheel thing here to help tighten it up. That's pretty cool. I'm wondering if it's to uh, adjust the... Oh, it is! You can adjust the height and then crank it back down. That is pretty sick, as they say. So I need four screws. These are going to fit this way. And I need these four screws to go right into there. Oh, I think those are going to slide anyways, maybe. Is that slide? Oh, there it is. It slides out just like that. <laughs> I, I knew there was another piece, I just didn't know where it was. There it is. How does it slide? It feels pretty good, it gets kind of tight. Honestly, that got tighter as I did it more. I wonder if it'll just completely slide out. No, it, it, it locks. It is getting tighter as I push it in there. It seemed easier at the beginning, but I wonder if like a, a shard of something got in there. Let's see if the other one is, is that difficult too. That's, that's how the other one was. It's like it gets tighter. So maybe it's supposed to do that so that your pedal board doesn't just flop around. I'm sure once you have something to hold on to, it'll be a little easier. Okay, let's, let's get this together. The way this is countersunk in there makes these screws nice and flat. Got that much of the board up. 
We need this little piece. And that's gonna go right there. I have to say, this is machined really well. Those screws, everything just fits really nicely. All right, that's snug down. So if I unlock this, this should slide out. Oh no, that's not how that works. This is the edge of the pedal board. This piece is gonna go on here on these new holes and that's what pulls to slide out. This definitely would be quicker if you had a drill attachment, which I think I do, but I just wanted to put this together with what's included in case you don't. And you can see exactly what it's gonna take to put it together. All right, and now it says to put these little clips in there. How does that work? I think it's for cable management. I think you can slip your uh, cables in there. That's pretty cool. Yeah, let's do that. So you will only be able to use those um, for spacers. You'll have to take them out if you want to keep this board all the way tight. It is a little tight. Mine's tight. I wonder if every, all of them like that. It feels like the tightness is coming from the Velcro that is already fastened on here. You can't take it off. I guess you could take it off if you really want to. But um, it feels like the tightness is coming from the thickness of the Velcro sliding in. That's probably by design, but it takes, it takes a little bit. It eases up at the end. But let's put some pedals on here and uh, see how it works. So for reference, my pedal board is this long, which I don't have a tape measure on me, but I'm gonna line it up. It is wobbling a little bit, which actually that's my desk probably. But you remember, you do have the ability to um, adjust the feet, which I will do now. Boom, look at that, how quick that was. So what I think would be cool is being able to get like an HX stomp and put it on this little part right here, fitting perfectly the way you want it, which I think I would want it somewhere around there so that I had room for my MIDI cables. And if you needed just a little bit more room, you could just slide it out and, and then you could fit some other pedals like Maybe the Bridge 6 MIDI controller. Maybe, let me go get some. And maybe even the Lion and the Lamb. Let's see if they fit. I mean, that's a good looking board right there. So could you get the Lion and the Lamb? Well, let's, let's figure it out. How wide does this go? Okay, so if we go there, could we get the Lion and the Lamb and the Pirate MIDI? Oh, you could. Look at that. All of that would fit on there perfectly. And because these are top mount, they fit really well. I can't even get all that in camera. That's how long this is. The only thing is, is if you have a pedal like this that's spanning the bridge, the bridge has, you know, it, it goes inside. So it's gonna have a little hump right here. It's gonna be, it's coming up like an eighth inch or so right there. So just be mindful of that. Seems like it'd be good to fit like, ooh, like a Jet Revelation right there, which my favorite reverb of all time and uh, put that there, and I had a white revelation right there. Ooh, that would look good, wouldn't it? Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness, look what just came in the mail. I had already wrapped up the video, and something just came in the mail, and I'm pretty sure I know what it is. One, two, three. Three items. Oh, oh. Can you read that? Can you read that? Oh, it's a good day. Let's get these out. The white Jet MCX. I have the black one on my board. Swag. Stuff we all get. Oh, the new micro with the new LEDs. Yes. And what do you think this could be? The white revelation. Reunited. This was like my first big giveaway pedal and I just love it. I love the black one that I have, but this one here, it just looks so good in the light. I don't know, the tone is no different. This sounds the same. Well, since we got it all here, let's make a dream board real quick. Okay, we got our white Stomp DMCX. Well, let's see, I think what I would do, I mean, this is a whole jet board. Put this here, put this here, put this here. Do we have a room for that? Hmm, let's see, let's get creative. I mean, you wouldn't need a micro and an MCX on the same board, but there you go. What else could we do? I would probably do something like this. I mean, that's a sick looking board right there. This could control all the MIDI stuff. Take that out for that, but the white looks good. The line is probably my favorite. I've said that before. If I had to choose one, I would choose the lion. I've said that before, but I also love the lamb. I mean, it's not like it's, it's not like this is a landslide better than this. They're both great. But anyways, put that there, put that there, and then shrink this. 
That's a good looking board. You know what would look good there is the JHS Tidy Whitey. Seen that on some whiteboards. Even have the bridge for you could go there. That looks pretty good too. All right, so yeah, let me know what you think. I wanted to share this with you because I think it solves a problem that I've had that you might have. I get questions all the time asking me like what size are different pedal boards? And I'm like, I just have to go to the website and look myself. But uh, I love helping people, so I'm not complaining. Uh, but this really solves a problem. Uh, you can pull it out, like I said, pretty tight. Hammer it back in. It'll go in all the way if you remove these little plastic things. Um, yeah, if you're in the market to get a pedal board, use my link down below. I'll link it below. It's an Amazon affiliate link if you want to support the channel. I really appreciate that. Um, but you know, don't buy something you don't need. But if you need something like this, uh, this is a great way to go. I didn't even talk about price. This was only $99. So I don't usually like saying prices in videos because things go up and down. But they also have a bigger version. Um, I forgot what the price is, but you can go look it up. If you need a bigger one, it's also expansive. I think it has three rows, three rooms. Uh, so this is just the, the two bars they make three it might be four I don't know you can go look I also want to mention if you're into the HX stomp the pod go the helix and you want to know my secrets for getting good tone I created a PDF called my tone secrets guide it's a free download you can go check it out also if you want to find another way to support the channel I also have presets for sale for the helix the pod go helix HX effects Excel all the things so if you want to go check those out really appreciate it and yeah look out for the next video coming real soon see ya